Hi, uh, this is Steen Anjani. In this video, we will see uh, the blinking of uh, LED in the ESP32. So, the LED is connected in the pin number uh, 1. Internal LED is connected in uh, pin number 1. So, we have connected the digital output in the symlink block with the pin number 1. Then, we are using the pulse generator to turn on and turn off the LED. So, in the pulse generator, we have to select the pulse type as sample based and the time as uh, use sample simulation time, amplitude 1, then period 1000, uh, pulse width 500 and then point, sampling time is 0 0.001 second. Uh, here the sampling time point uh, zero zero one uh, and if you are taking that uh, number of sample as thousand and then the time period is one second so total time period is one second then 500 pulse width means a uh, 50 percentage duty cycle so that led will on for 0.5 second and it is off for 0.5 second so if you want the uh, period is um, uh, in the point 0.1 second, then we can reduce this period as 100 and pulse width we can change it as 50. So, here we have taken 1 second uh, uh, time period. So, sampling time 0 0.001, the period is 1000, 50 percentage. Even we can change the pulse width as uh, any uh, pulse width that is 75 percentage duty cycle then we can take 750 and uh, 25 percentage duty cycle we can use 250 as the pulse width so here uh, these are the specification for the pulse generator and it is connected to the scope so now you go to the hardware settings here we have to select the hardware board so in left left hand side you select hardware implementation, then you have to select the ESP32 room board. So, what is the board you are using? You can select that particular board, then you will get the hard target hardware resources. So, in this target hardware resources, here you have to connect, uh, use the host board connection. So, uh, what port you are, uh, you are connecting your ESP32, you can uh, select this as manually specify or automatically suppose sometimes if you use automatically and it is not sensing your port then you can use this manually uh, specify then you can uh, take this uh, you can uh, use the com port so how we can get this com port where it is connected how we can find out this so here we can use the device manager then here you will get the port under this you can see this it is in com4 so we can use this com4 4, 4 here we can use the host com port sometimes we know the com port sometimes we don't know so if you don't know the com port we can use the device manager under the port you can have the details of your esp32 port connection then you have to give ok then we can uh, monitor here uh, the serial communication is happened via this pin number one only so uh, we uh, we cannot uh, use this p uh, pin one uh, for monitoring and tuning so we have to use the deploy directly we have to build and deploy only if you are we can't monitor the um, uh, signal in this uh, MATLAB simulink. So, we have to build and deploy only. Uh, in next video, we will connect the LED separately and we will see how we can monitor the output. So, in this case, pin number 1 only in uh, inbuilt uh, uh, LED is uh, available in the ESP32 and uh, the coding is dumped via the serial port is available in pin 1 only. So, we can't monitor the output data in Simulink directly we will, we will deploy and build, build and deploy.
so it will it it has started and uh, it will start the building operation here we will see how the processes happened code generation completed so still it is compiling so it is in process so it is writing so it's over build process is completed so now you can see that in asp32 internal led is inbuilt uh, led is uh, blinking so 0.5 second on and then 0.5 second off so uh, we can verify that uh, whether uh, ESP32 uh, board is uh, uh, interfaced with the MATLAB symlink. Just uh, uh, we can uh, download this uh, simple uh, blinking uh, model. So we can find out uh, whether this ESP32 is uh, uh, compatible with this uh, MATLAB symlink software. So in next video, we will see that uh, how we can connect the external LED and uh, we can uh, dump the same uh, file model with uh, different uh, pin number. Thank you.